Welcome to Hawk News. Today is December 10th, 2021. My name is Damien. The Tigres People Liberation Front, or TPLF, was established on the 18th of February, 1975, in Tigre, a province of Ethiopia. Over the course of 16 years, the armed rebel group has grown from over a dozen men to one of the most powerful armed movement in Ethiopia. The previous government was overthrown by the TPLF and a new one was established in 1991 that ruled Ethiopia until it was ousted from power in the federal government in 2018. In January of last year, the TPLF's registration as a party was terminated by the National Election Board of Ethiopia and it was designated a terrorist organization in May. Activists have accused the U.S. and other Western nations, as well as media corporations, of supporting the rebels and have twisted the story to make the Ethiopian government look bad. The United States government has imposed sanctions on the ruling party of Ethiopia and the Etrian military, who is allied with the government of Ethiopia. Let's go to Dominica, the capital, where a group of protesters have gathered to protest U.S. intervention in Ethiopia. Thanks, Damien. Thank you. On this sunny day, I am at the capital of Texas, where a group has come to protest U.S. involvement in African nations, namely Ethiopia. So we are going to interview some of the people, the main leaders of this protest, and ask them questions involving what this whole thing is about. I guess a good question to start out with first is, is why are you here? We are opposing that. We are saying no more interventions. And we are expecting the U.S. government, the Biden administration, to side to democracy than uh, ethnic extremist terrorist groups. We want to sound our opposition to the Texas governor and like voice our like concerns toward the U.S. state pol foreign policies. Seeing all these disinformations, lies, and uh, a narration that doesn't fit the what is in ground is so hard, and that's what what's happening because of all these lobbying campaigns, because of all these Western uh, negative policies. It is not not representing what is uh, on the ground, what is the truth in Ethiopia. Ethiopia is a, a, a country with like three thousands of year of history, like it's a long standing as a state. So I'll invite anybody who sees this to do more researches about Ethiopia, try to go to the real ground truth of the story, uh, and. Like, let's stop the interventions and the disinformation and give a chance uh, for Ethiopian democracy. And thank you so much. Thank you. Back to you, Damien. <laughs> Pflugerville ISD high school students have been participating in a holiday tradition of giving back to underprivileged elementary school students since 1982 with a program called Adopt a Child. So the concept of Adopt a Child is that High school students get together in their classes. Primarily, we've done it through first period. Um, they raise money, um, and then the elementary schools that we partner with identify children that are in need, and then that class technically adopts the child. Um, and luckily, for the time that we've always done it, the, the children get to come to the high school class, and they get to have kind of a party and open their gifts and um, get to spend some time with the high school students. And so this is a program to try to get teenagers to kind of actually see uh, the benefits of when they do give to others and, um, you know, hopefully continue that as they go into adulthood. Helen Barzi, who teaches U.S. history at Hendrickson High School, has a long-standing history with the program and leads the initiative to bring holiday spirit to the deserving students and high school students who participate. So it's, you know, you may not know exactly how it impacts the adoptees, but you hope that it, for that moment in time, it gives them some ease of what maybe, you know, bad things that they're going through. Um, and then possibly, and I know I've gotten uh, emails from parents of the children saying, you know, if this had not been it, our children would not have had any type of, of um, you know, Christmas. And thank you so much for the generosity that the school did. For almost 40 years, this event has been held in Pflugerville schools. Starting at Pflugerville High, Adopt a Child has now spread to all high schools in the district and came to Hendrickson High School when it opened in 2003. So the first, I think the first Adopt a Child was in 1982. So I guess next year will be the 40th year that in the district this program has been. And of course the year of, last year was the first year we didn't get to do it because of COVID. Adopt a Child has become a tradition at multiple Pflugerville schools since it was first established in 1982. Okay. 